Yeah, dude, that's that that could be really really cool, man. Really really cool. Yeah. Do me a favor, lo- can you share your screen? Oh uh, yeah. Yeah, share share your screen. Mm-hmm. Jump into your ads manager and let's kind of just see what and we're by, gonna. What and we're by the way, do. if you look at Jesus, I don't want to answer you. Hold on. Uh, so if you look at the background, I changed my entire office configuration. Um, what do you think about this background for shooting videos from home? I freaking love it, bro. Better than the closet. <laughs> it, it's so perfect, bro. It's so perfect. Yeah, and I have like all the natural light I need. So. Oh shit! Heck yeah, yeah, dude. Oh, you're you're good to go, man. Yeah. You're good to go, and that's why my freaking video is not on right now because my lighting sucks right now. Like the freaking weather kind of is whack and. My light sucks. I gotta get. I gotta step my lighting game up. Mm-hmm. What do you? So what do you? What do you? What do you want to do next? Obviously, lead capture is next. What's the piece of content? What are you thinking of? Video. Well, so image? that was my next question. So I came up with a couple like videos, like the top five thing, the top this, whatever. You know, I was kind of see. I mean, I know you just want me to get the phone up, do like a couple minute video, and that's it. Um, if I come up with a lot of content, set up my GoPro and stuff and have them, have you seen the Gary V videos? Like he talks for like five seconds, like the hook. And then he has a little like five second intro, intro. Like his signature. Mm-hmm. Like, cause like, I want people to recognize my brand. Not like Eli just yeah, goes yeah. on. But again, like you tell me yeah. what, what works better. No, th- it all works. What, what I'm just uh, against is, is having a person have, have to put out hundreds of dollars for production. That's just what I'm against. So if so you can do all that. Like if you can do all that without, without a huge budget and without having to really delegate, you know, cause obviously delegating and he, you know, is going to cost. So if you can get away with, and then, and at the same time, if you, if you can do it without taking up most, most of your time, cause either we're going to delegate it and spend to have someone do all this shit, or you're going to sit there and learn how to edit yourself. I'm just against those things. You know what I mean? You're not going to edit, but what do you think of like spending like 10 bucks on Fiverr for video or something? Yeah, or, dude. I mean, you could for sure do that, bro. Especially if in this case, if, if the strategy is to maybe run just a few videos a month, like one, one video a week, that could be worth having some Fiverr dude edit my damn video. Gotcha. You know? uh, before we get into this, uh, just FYI. So I have... But then also uh, really quick on, on why that's my whole... Um, perspective and just 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 overall philosophy on video content the reason for it is because the less polish the more engagement the more we polish it the more it looks like an ad really yes dude like the more we polish it that's why that's why the most engagement on social media in general is someone's random ass cat video from their cell phone like it's it's those non-polished videos that get the most engagement because it looks normal it looks real but the moment I put a label on something, the moment I edit something, it's, it, it's an ad. And, and people and consumers, we know that shit. Like we, we spot an advertisement a mile away. So, yeah. so why, the reason why Facebook just loves, and that's why one huge reason why the images, they don't want too much text on an image, is because they want the flow of everything to look like it's coming from your friend. And that's what you want as a content creator, as an advertiser. You want the, that ad, that post to look like it's coming from their friend. Mm. And, and the moment I see something polished, you know, it, it, obviously I know that's not my homie. You know what I mean? So it's then, an ad. So then these videos aren't the shit. I mean, again, it, it, this is just like my, it's not even really my opinion. This is just what really kind of the shit that I study. But at the same time, it also can come down to testing. Like, yeah, this could work. Let's run one like this. Let's run one freaking um empty or or without the you know text and and that that's the whole thing about this as well is is the testing and the split testing between this ad versus that ad so there's nothing wrong with that it just looks it just it's just too damn polished Mm -hmm. you know so but at the same time that's where that's where now your text you got to kind of back up that ad with some good text some good copy because you want that you want that text again, you want it to be personal. Like, and that's why selfie style videos, it's personal. That's, that's freaking Eli, you know? And, and so if, if we're going to have more of a stock image type of video, then just make sure you put some text and, and put your personality in that text and let them know it's coming from a real person. Cause the video obviously is just standard stock, right? you know, but that could work. That could for sure work. But at the same time, my whole point is that I don't want you spending too much money on any of that stuff or thinking that you have to spend money on all that stuff. 
100%, let's just put it this way, 99% of your overall marketing budget should literally be going on a Facebook ad. It shouldn't be going on spending to make that ad look pretty. Gotcha. You know? Um, I also have a, a listing coming out. So Awesome, we, awesome. So I want to, you know, promote it, a coming soon angle, something like I'm going to go over there after our call to Concord and uh, shoot, you know, I mean, I can shoot whatever. So mm -hmm. what should it be? It's like right here, you know, and unit kind of condo. Dude, just like that other video you had up that the one that you have posted on your, on your business page is selfie style in front of, I don't know what you were in front of, but that type of video, bro, I'm telling you that again, you can do what you want. If you have the budget, freaking make that deck that shit out. But at the same time, it's like, you don't necessarily, you don't have to. You know, a simple video like you did over here, scroll down, just like your recent one where you were doing the, the, the two tips or whatever it was. What were you talking about? You were giving out some type of value. Up to home, home seller questions. Or right yeah, two, yeah. Dude, I'm telling you, if you were in front of the property right now, bro, that's the listing behind and you're just talking about the property, I'm telling you, dude, you would crush it. But hold the phone the other way. You have the phone vertical on this. Okay. So for, for obviously that's for Instagram. Horizontal is for Facebook. Would I be able to do horizontal on Instagram? I mean, if I shoot it once. No, you'd have to. You'd have to. You'd have to shoot it twice. You have to <laughs> shoot it twice. Yeah, dude. Damn. I yeah. mean, it look, look too bad like this, right? Well, I mean, it's up to you. It doesn't. It does. It doesn't necessarily. But at the same time, I mean, it's just: do we want those borders showing, you know, or 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 not, right. or or just a clean, you know, overall you taking up the full area of that of that spot just like that image you know the image the whole image covers the whole just do it you know that image versus you know seeing the borders everyone's a little different but at the same time when it comes to the real dimensions that's not the dimensions for facebook you know so should i like be outside the home today like uh, horizontally saying like hey coming soon on the market two bed one bath all the boring realtor shit or like should i make it better like Talk about, yeah, I mean, it's not really boring shit. It's really just giving the specs of the property, you know, talk about the neighborhood, talk about freaking the property, talk about rates in the area, talk about value in the area, talk about appreciation, just talk about, just talk about the shit you know about the property. But then also the call to action is to get them to click learn more. So let them know, you know, create urgency, say, hey man, and, and go over the facts that property obviously isn't even though we're in this crazy time, properties are not lasting. So click learn more. I'd love to, you know, set up a private virtual showing or whatever the hell you guys are, you know, saying now. Um, but the whole call to action is to obviously get them to click. So just don't forget that part at the end of the video. Gotcha. So um, I'm doing like a 3D Matterport. I'm, I'm sure you know what that is. Yeah, um, yeah, yeah. I, like, hey guys, I mean, if you want like the 3D virtual tour, like go inside the house or whatever, click learn more below and I'll be happy to send that over to you or something. Yes, dude. And that would be an email. So that's an automated email that gets sent to them. Okay. So now Perfect. then we're going to be creating landing pages essentially uh, like pretty much soon. Yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Okay. Yeah. That landing page. In, in fact, I already have for a listing. I already have one done. Got it. Um, I need, I still, so what are we offering there? Just like pictures on the 3D tour? Of the our 3D listing? tour. The 3D tour, all the specs. And then in that email is a link to your calendar. For the way I would set it up or the way it is set up is they go to a landing page. They enter their name and email. They click submit. They go to a thank you page. And that's, that's you on video. So okay. what I would do is let's say this advertisement video is going to be three minutes long or two minutes long. The thank you page video, that could be 30 seconds long. Hey guys, thank you so much for inquiring. A quick, you know, maybe a quick little intro of you, and then and then the whole call to action there is to get them to schedule an appointment, and to check their email. So we're trying to get them to schedule an appointment on the thank you page and in the email. Okay. Because in the email there's a link to your calendar. So, for the thank you, email, uh, I should just shoot a video like face to the Zoom kind of thing, like, hey, thank you so much for clicking, yada yada, you know. For the thank you page, the thank you page video, not the yeah. email. Yes. Yeah, the thank you page. Yeah, the thank you page can can be a horizontal on your cell phone or even in your in your in your home office. Like it could be it could be simple right there. Mm -hmm. Thanking them, introducing yourself, letting them know a little bit more about the property, and telling them to schedule an appointment. Create an urgency, saying, "Hey, man, the property won't last long. Obviously, you know, shit has at the fan. A lot of things are going on, but properties are still selling fast. So, click the button below, 
It'll take you straight to my calendar where you can schedule your private showing. Can't wait to talk to you. And by the way, check your email because I just emailed you your virtual tour. Mm. So because the whole thing here is, is to get them to see you. And, and so we're seeing you from the ad, from the video, and then I'm seeing you again on the thank you page. And then I just got your email. So those touch points, man, when we're visually seeing someone are super powerful. Um, so if you can, if you can, if you can just get them to, to on that thank you page, get them to just know who you are again and, and click that button to schedule a call. That's what it's all about. So thank you. And essentially like click down below for my calendar to schedule a virtual tour or showing or something like that. Yeah. Yeah, for sure. If you have any questions now, I'm available 24 seven, click the button below. Um, they'll take you straight to my calendar where you can get me on the phone. I'd love to answer any questions you may have or schedule your next showing or schedule a private showing because again, the property will not last. So I'd love to talk to you sooner than later. You know what I mean? And that's a short thank you video on the thank you page. Got it. So, so let me, let me, let me share, let me share this side real quick. Let me know if you can see this. Can you see my screen? Yeah. Okay. So this is, this is, this is, this is similar to the listing, but this is just an open house, simple page. So it goes from the ad to this, to the address, and then they're clicking on the button. They're entering their name and email. And then it's going to be this thank you page. So they click the button. And then that's a quick 30 second video of Eli. Hey, thank you so much. You know, and then boom, they click on the, the button below. It takes them straight to your calendar where they schedule a call. Okay, nice. So these, and can we make them put the phone number too? On the opt-in? Yeah. Yeah, heck yeah, dude. Nice. You, can, you can ask for whatever the hell you want on the opt-in. Um, what I would do though is I would, I would leave it optional. So required is name, email, and then phone number without the red asterisk. So mm -hmm. the phone number would be, would be optional because all that's going to do is it's going to, it's going to, it's going to lower your lead um, quant gotcha. quantity. Now, yeah. now it could, it could increase your lead quality, but at the same time, I mean, we don't need people, that filter. yeah, they're, they're willing to give up their name and email before <clears throat> just a phone number. And that's why once I ask for their name and email, they don't know me yet. So I'm, they're coming over here for the very first time. I ask for their name and email. Then on that thank you page, see, that's why I'm saying I don't need to call you. I want you to schedule with me. So if that, so if I take you to a thank you page and that's where I'm telling you, hey, schedule the call, schedule the call with me. And then I'm telling you again in my email, because in that video, in the thank you video, I'm telling you to check your email. There's a virtual tour. In that email, it's very important that I have my calendar link in that as well. So that's where I'm telling them to schedule a call. So it's just very, it's, it's, it's non-aggressive rather than me asking for their phone number because them scheduling a call is just as good. Um, now, again, if they come to the thank you page and they don't schedule the call and then they check their email and they don't schedule the call, but they gave you their, ne their, their phone number up front, I mean, that's a, that's, that could happen too. So, but I wouldn't make it required. But, but for sure, it could be, it could be added for sure. So, um, have you figured out how to really use the Kartra or, or have you played around with it? Not at all, man. I have so many compass tools I have to learn. Like, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. This, th I could easily come in here and edit this. I could take your, um, in fact, why don't you, why don't you delegate that to me? Send me the specs of the property. I'll fill in the blanks. I'll log into your Kartra. I'll fill in the blanks. I'll change out the freaking image. I'll connect your calendar. Um, I'll set up that email. Delegate that to me, bro. I'll set up that email that goes out to them. Nice. Um, yeah, let me. Perfect. Okay. Yeah. So email me the specs or really it's just, it's just, yeah, that, that, that page that you showed that you had up. Let me stop share. Go to, you can share yours but really that page of the, with the listing that has all the specs on it right there. So, so yeah, that right there. I mean, I could take a bunch of stuff from just that. Right here. Uh... And then, so, so again, most people, most people would run an ad and take them to this page right here. I know. Every right. Agent is doing that. So this is the page. In fact, this is the page we're going to email them.
or is that a live page? Is that a, that, that is a live page, right? Uh, yeah, let me go back to it real quick. Okay, there's a screenshot. Oh, is that a PDF? Yeah. Oh, dude, that's the email too then. This? It could be a PDF, yeah. So so in, in your thank you video, hey guys, I just emailed you a PDF of all the specs of the property. So check your email right now in the next couple of minutes. So you can mention that in the thank you video if, if you want. Just turn that whole thing into a PDF and just link it to the email. So you, you like the way this looks? I mean, shit, if, 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 if that could be, yeah, dude, why not? Like, that's, that's pretty cool. Like, rather than maybe just page one and two, page yeah. three might not be necessary. But to actually PDF, to actually email them a PDF, something they can physically print out, that's mm -hmm. pretty powerful. Okay. Right? Like, why not? Like, especially if you can easily just turn it, you have the PDF right there. So shit, let's just email them that too. Right. Uh, well, either, I'll tell you this for now. I, I, I'm literally getting photos done at one o'clock today. Uh, perfect. Putting a sign up and then I see I don't have any remarks yet. They're showing. So like I need to, we just literally put it up coming soon last night. So see, so all, so in your video, in your advertising video, you're talking about all the photos you want to email them. You know, click learn more, you guys. I'm going to email you 17 photos. I'm going to email you 15 photos. I'm going to e email you 10 photos of the property and a PDF of everything that, you know, the property consists of. So these little basics, dude, is, is, is what you're teasing them with. And that's what's enticing them to opt in in the first place. Holy shit, this guy's going to send me photos. He's going to send me a PDF. Okay. Right. Right. Like so disclosure link or something. I mean, I don't know. What do you mean? So I, I'm going to go there today and try to make this video. So, hey, guys, standing over here in Brown Tree Place, you know, mm -hmm. yada, yada to, I'm telling you about the property. And then, you know, if you guys want more, you know, um, mm -hmm. if you guys want me to send you all the pictures and a 3D Matterport, like, virtual tour of the property, click below, like, something like that. Heck, yeah, bro. That's it, dude. That's it. Click learn more below, and um, I'll email them to you right away. Nice. Now, let me ask you, this is in Concord. Mm -hmm. And my custom audience or whatever the, where we're targeting is in San Francisco. No, we're so gonna we're, we're gonna have to create a whole new we'll we'll target a whole new area. We'll target Concord. Okay, so we're gonna like this isn't for content; it's just to sell the listing, really. Pretty much, yeah, yeah, okay. pretty much. Okay, no, no worries. I'm just kind of getting yeah because we're gonna have a lot of different ads running. Um, I also wanted to see so with your other clients, um, what are you like? What are you seeing in terms of spend and the people that are actually running ads for? like leads are they getting business i mean is it good return uh, obviously you know a lot of people are acting weird right now just overall so leads are coming in dollar two dollar three dollar leads leads are coming in i don't know who's closing what but leads are definitely coming in people are capturing leads and a lot and what a lot of people are doing is they're giving away a buyer guide like i have in fact you know what i have those buyer guides i have that that buyer i have a, a new buyer guide and a new seller guide it's actually from compass Nice. So okay. I'll, yeah, dude, I'll email them. Now, I haven't exactly opened up the file, but I got them emailed to me, and that's all I was really, you know. I, just, I have my, I got a buyer and seller guy for First American. And it's branded to them, but at least it's something. So yeah, I, yeah. I got one too. So you could easily that. take these and send them over to Fiverr as well and have them just edit. Right. Like you can easily do that, but I'll send them your way. But that's what a lot of people are doing, doing right now is, is giving away a buyer guide or a seller guide and, and just getting that funnel full getting that getting that that list full and and, and just and, and then just nurturing the list so whenever you know things do change they they have a powerful list of buyers or sellers by the way do you want this now the way it is because like the top stuff or like do you want it with the stuff that you can put in the like landing page because like i haven't even described the property yet well well both i mean whatever specs i can put as far as bullet points on the landing page and then whatever the consumer would, would benefit from looking at that. Gotcha. I, I, I got this little extension right here. It's pretty, pretty cool. That's what it makes. So when it sends it, you can like scroll down this image. It's like long. Oh, really cool. Just FYI. What, which one is that? What plugin is that? Full page screen capture. Gotcha. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Super easy. Nice dude. Yeah, man. So, that could easily be, you know, a, a, a selling point to get people to opt in is emailing them a PDF. Because it's either that, either you're going to email them the PDF or you're going to just, or, or you're going to just type out everything in a damn email. Right. Right. <laughs> so, so 
I'd rather just say, hey guys, thank you so much. Here's your free PDF. Click below and you know, take a look at everything in the property. And by the way, my link to the calendar is right below. Also click there to schedule your best time. You know, so that would be the first email that triggers and, and goes out. Okay. So yeah, I mean, um, what can we do now? You know, I mean, we gotta keep this ad running, right? Which and one is this? This is the intro video? Yeah. Um, I would, I mean, to tell you the truth, how many? 93 plays for 46 cents. We only spent 40 bucks. We did that for a month. So Dang, see, that's, that's why caught that. Yeah, dude, that's, that's, that's pretty, that's pretty low as far as the cost, you know, for a month, it's been running for a month already. No, it's a week. So a oh, month okay. 25. Okay. So then, I mean, it, it's just all up to you, dude. If, if that's the area you're going to, you're going to farm or, or if you're, you know, you got different areas now, cause now Concord, that's, that's out of that area. Right. Right. So, I mean, if anything, maybe, maybe, maybe turn that one off, maybe turn that one off. 41 okay. bucks is good. Now, now we can just build, build an audience around that. And I mean, the audience is going to be 90 freaking video, right? The 90. 90 what? No, no. The, the, um, so that, how did, how did not that many people see it then? That's go to the actual. No. And honestly, like half of them are my friends. They're all like, Oh, you saw your video. I'm like, oh, okay. Like, do they live in the area? Um, like, yes, but they're like yeah. my Facebook friends. So that's probably why they see it. Cause they like the page, you know? So it was like, like, I want to say like, ha like a third should, of this is my friends. Like not you a lot should of have got people. way more views than that, dude. Right. Like why did go to the actual, you know, what's so crazy is that to tell you the truth, I thought you turned it off because I looked at the video views and I'm like, why, why so few views? Yeah. So yeah, I turned this to the page of likes off. I don't need more than 15 K and like, you know, it's good. No, you're good with that. Go to, go to the Facebook <coughs> page, go to the actual video. And, and I thought it was, See, I thought it was the inch. I thought it was that other video we ran before. I, wasn't it the bottom, the bottom one? Yeah. Right here. See, well, so remember I, the video, I had to take it down. See. What the hell? What do you mean you had to take it down? So I have twenty-seven likes, and like, remember that video that got like twenty-eight thousand or something? Like, I had to take it down because it had marker real estate in it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But then this is the vi this is the video right here that you ran the ad on, right? Yes. Why so few views, dude? I don't know. Looks bad. <laughs> That's very weird that you got that, that you got, you should have had a few thousand views on that. Yeah. 480 views. That's why I thought you stopped it. Cause I'm like, okay, maybe, maybe he stopped it. Cause the view count wasn't, wasn't increasing. Go back to the ad real quick. Click on, um, Click on the the first, yeah, click on edit. It, actually, yeah, click on campaigns, the first tab, and then click on edit right below the title. Um, that's really weird, dude. I don't know how you got so few views on it. And we were targeting, click on um, Kitty Hawk Road, 15 miles. Scroll down, audience. People living in this location. That's very interesting, dude. Maybe because you're just targeting just the 15 miles. See, connection. People, people who, who like. like. Yeah, like that, like, like half of those are like people who like my page. You like, saw your video, like, you're nice. And like, I see like a like on, on, the, on it, you know, so. So how about like people that. And see, that like, was. Like my page. <laughs> and that's, and that's, that's your other page, right? That's not even the, your new page. Right. But like, the only people that like my new page is like India and Asia. And like a hundred people. Yeah, right. normally I exclude that. I don't even I don't even oh, know. Oh, look at this. Specific. That's yeah, because you're targeting such a small area, dude. That that's what it that 15 miles. Maybe get this out. Well, 
it wouldn't be the connections you yeah well that's the wrong page first of all like um that's a completely different page now so that kind of doesn't really have anything to do with it anymore now it's look at that see i wonder like you you um yeah, I wonder what that's weird. I don't I don't see how that would have changed the audience de definition because that page Maybe that did have something to do with it, man. Maybe. Well, I mean, it is Why don't you why don't you why don't you Okay, well, why don't you publish it now? Publish it now and turn it back on for for the next 24 hours. So is this better right here or Yeah, dude, hell yeah, that's way better. It went All from right. specific to freaking the green. Right. Like so... that's I've only you don't, it, so I'll just keep it going or yeah hit publish hit publish and just keep it keep it keep it going for the next day or so in the next 24 hours keep it going for the next 24 hours in the next 24 hours that 400 should be at a thousand and now that, that would let us know that that page connection had something to do with it well the through plays are going to be just another 400 for the life of the thing oh oh daily never mind yeah that's daily so that 400 should be at a thousand in the next 24 hours Okay. Perfect. So hit close and then um, turn back on. Actually, yeah, leave, turn that to leave it. Turn that to gray. Turn that to blue. I mean, turn that to blue, and then turn the other one. Turn set, click on the middle tab. Turn that to blue. Yeah. Yeah, dude. I knew something was off with that video, bro. Like I totally thought you turned it off. Let's see if that connection page has something to do with it. And do you want both those pages live? Are you going to cancel the other one? So I just haven't had time. I want to like email the people that I think would review me again or like copy and gotcha. paste that review. And gotcha. I want to like copy and paste. I'm sorry. I want to copy the review, paste in the email. Hey guys, if you'd be so kind, like here's yes, your review. Dude. Like it's not lost. Just go paste it on my new page and give them the link. So like it's super easy. Yeah. That's the only yeah. thing I can think of to like, maybe I'll get like five to 10 reviews or something that way. No, yeah, that would that'd be a good idea, and, and and create some urgency and say, hey guys, I'm taking this page down on Friday. Will you do me a huge favor and copy and paste this real quick? Okay, put a time limit. Yeah, put a time limit. Yeah, that would be that'd be perfect. So, get that video done today, man, and then and then let's let's chat tomorrow. Let's chat tomorrow, and let's get that let's get that that ad live. So, am I really gonna shoot two videos, one vertical, one horizontal? You don't have to. It just depends if you want to run an ad on Instagram which I know you're an Instagram guy. I love my Instagram. Um, speaking of which, my like following has been going down, 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 like forever. Like, I, like, I don't know. I had like 8,000 followers. I'm like five and a half thousand now. I don't know. No way. You went down. It would drop that much. Yeah. Like, but over like a year. So um, how in the hell did, why, why would it drop that much? Hmm. Like look at the following. I had like 8,000. So like in a year, you know, so mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I, mean, I don't post like enough, but they're quality. They're not just like me on the couch, you know, that's like, the thing about organic posting, bro. You got to post a shitload. You got to post a lot. You on IG, like you're supposed to literally to really, really crush it. You're supposed to be posting five to seven times per day. Wow. Yeah. Wow. And Gary V, Gary V says you need to be posting 10 times a day, but, no, but see, I can't come up with good content. Right? I know. I mean, so here's the thing like so it's between like being quality and being just like there's a lot of me like you know yeah 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 for sure that's that's why i'm just not an organic guy like i'm an ad guy like the way it looks now it's perfect dude you got freaking you got thousands of freaking followers your, your credibility is there now we got to just run ads ig ads that's that's where you need to be crushing it ig ads so will they just give me followers or will they give me business? yeah that too ig ads will get you followers or business both when you're running an ad on ig for a listing or an open house or just overall buyer guide seller guide you're going to get followers out of that too okay. so it's not a, it's not a follower type of ad but at the same time organically just spill over people will start following you got it got it like even my stories i just put like four so people can like see you know like here's like the top oh yeah here let's see it's like a family like home buyers like i don't know like yeah, don't even do. I'm telling you, I wouldn't stress over the. I wouldn't stress over that part at all. Let's just start running IG ads. Okay. To give me business. Why so, <laughs> yeah, dude. So, 
unfortunately i wonder i wonder if i mean yeah i mean if you if you sh to make shit easier why don't you just do it vertical just shoot the video vertical and screw it if facebook if we gotta if we gotta show it the damn borders so be it because that same content that same but at the same time with ig the video can't be no longer than what is it 60 seconds right yeah so you'd have to make a short ass video so i do have to record twice no you can record once do vertical record it once but then how do I flip it, right? So I got to record it horizontally. No, we, we don't have to. We don't have to. Because again, with Facebook, it could be vertical. I'm just, my eyes, I just hate looking at the borders. I know. But, but at the same time, if it is what it is, it is what it is. Screw it. Do a vertical, 60 seconds. We run it on Facebook ad. We run it on Instagram ad. Call it a day. Just now that, now, now you have to try to fit everything in 60 seconds, you know? Which I truly believe you can. I mean, I, you, you, 60 seconds is still a good amount of time. I mean. Absolutely. Like, what am I going to do all 60 seconds? Like, hey, get like 10 seconds wh where I am, like 20 seconds bedroom, bathrooms, like yeah. 20 seconds of like their shopping and schools, man, like all special. Yeah. And then click down below to get some photos, videos, like for connecting. Yeah. Yeah. Like that's now, six, right? for sure. 60 seconds, dude. One video, we use it for both platforms. If I want to overdo it, I'll shoot it again in the other. <laughs> don't, so I feel like I have don't, time. But. Don't overdo it. Don't overthink it, bro. Like I'm telling you, don't overthink it. Because like I'm, I'm not perfectionist. Like I don't want the borders either. But like it is, you know. Sometimes they're spontaneous. Sometimes they're, you know, um, like more planned and stuff. Like this guy or whatever. Um, the one, the two home salad question took me like that's a sixth try. You know, I walked up and down that street six times. You got two minutes, one fifty-eight. Right, but this is too long. That's you know, and that and that and that's that's a perfectionist for you. A guy like me who just doesn't give a shit, I would have just did it in one take. And now what I'm asking you about is recording this, sending it to Fiverr before ever uploading it to put my little intro in it and clean it up. No, like, dude, that's not worth it, bro. You don't need to I worry know. about that. Now, now, if you're building a YouTube channel, then then that type of stuff may be necessary. But even on my YouTube channel, I don't have none none of my shit edited, like none of it, dude. And and my YouTube channel is growing, and and my income from it is growing. No edit. So, especially with these videos right here, man. Don't you? I wouldn't edit. You don't need to. You don't How need to. How many views do you need on YouTube to actually start making money? You need a thousand subscribers. Mm. So you need one thousand subscribers, and you need um, four thousand watch hours so and that's in in one year so in a 12 month period you know people have to watch at least four thousand hours of your content and, and what's then, the payment like on the like minimum the what what's like the pay like on that minimum threshold let me um well on that minimum threshold i mean shit just maybe a few hundred but then it, it grows super fast like right. this month i'll break 700 as far as my my income from it just and that's just well, an extra 700 a month dude like shit Nice. It's just, you know, it's content I would have put any, every, everywhere else, but instead I just park it on YouTube and now I'm getting paid on it, you know? Well, I mean, I should just post the same videos on YouTube too then, right? Yes, dude, you for sure should. But again, with you could do vertical on YouTube for sure, but YouTube is more of that horizontal video. But then also YouTube is more long form. You could put you could put one minute, 30 second video. You could put 30 second video. You could put a one minute video. You could put whatever. But at the same time, for long term monetization of it, the videos want you want it to be over 10 minutes. So it's more of a it's more of, of, of an education from a real estate standpoint. I would turn a YouTube channel into my my me educating like from a general standpoint, maybe maybe start educating people on 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 your city. But, but like, like really long form 10 minute type of, let me tell you about this. And let me tell you about that. You know, like it's more long form. So I have here uh, a couple like scripts for content or whatever. Mm -hmm. So the first one's like the top five reasons why your offer was rejected or may have been rejected. So, and then like, I talk about like how to clean it up, like what to think about. And you know, I only take them so far before mm -hmm. I say, like, yeah, you should consult with your real estate professional. They'll help you do X and B, you know, mm -hmm. whatever. So when I shoot that one, do I need like zoom style or should I be out and about like on my phone? Either one, bro. Either doesn't one. Matter. I'm telling you, it doesn't matter, dude. Now, now, now the call to action, that's why the buyer guide or the seller guide is so, is so, is so powerful because if it wasn't that and giving away something for free, then what else will we have said? Hey guys, if you'd like to talk to me, click learn more and schedule a call. 
it's like that's kind of who no one even knows you yet like i don't want to jump on a call with you but if you're going to give me something for free and i can just read it on my own time and it has to do with what the hell you're talking about then okay shit here's my email so and on this video i'll be offering the buyer guide yeah dude for sure for sure hey guys and by the way we just put together an amazing 2020 buyer guide that's going to walk you all through this, the ins and outs of what you need to know before you purchase. Click learn more, and I'd love to email you our 2020 buyer guide right now. Have a great day. So there always has to be that call to action of giving that person something for free of value, something of value for free. And that's, that's the easiest thing as a PDF. Now, what if it's jumpy? Like, let's say like I have top five reasons and like, I want to like pause the video, look down on my phone to like, see what the next thing is so I can like elaborate. You Um, for sure can. Like pause it and then like, just put it together again. Like that Apple movie, like a, I wouldn't, I I wouldn't, but I mean, if, if you want to, you sure can. I wouldn't, I'm telling you, bro, if you look at all my YouTube shit, my YouTube is as ghetto as they come, bro. And it's that authenticity. It's that real uncut, unedited on what attracts people. And it's not until later on when, when, yeah, then I'll start caring about that stuff, but not, not, to, not to start. That's why, like, in the beginning, we're just starting. A lot of people let all this other shit get in their way from them even starting. Like, let's just start first, dude. And then, we'll, then let's start capturing some leads. Let's start closing some deals. And then we'll start getting our shit pretty. But until then, I, I wouldn't worry about editing. I wouldn't worry about none of that shit. So you don't want me to do it because of the time constraint of the cost. The, the, right? the, the time constraint of it, the stress over it, the cost of, of it. Actually, the stress part of it, I think. <laughs> the stress of like, <laughs> yeah. it. Because like, uh, like, here's the thing, the recording process too, right? Like, let's say here, I have like the top five points. Okay, boom. Like, I have to turn it off. So I have to like read it, remember, turn it off, go record into the camera. But I was like, hey, reason number two. I'm like, ah, my mind, like, I don't know. Like, oh, let me look through. Why don't you do it on Zoom then? do that type of video on zoom record with your webcam while you're holding your cell phone going over your notes Mm. okay you know so i'm telling you dude that end consumer although you are in frisco and as i met the bay area and as i mentioned this before yeah dude your 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 ideal client is that higher income level client but at the same time that higher income client is just a normal person as well so, so when you can relate to the consumer, when you can relate to the audience, they feel that they, they like you, they feel that they know you, they feel they can trust you because you're just a normal ass person like them. Right. That's what the unediting allows is for you to really see, for the consumer to really see behind the screens and be like, dude, he's just a normal ass person. I love, I love what he's talking about. I'd love to work with him. You know, that's why with females, a lot of females that I talk to, it's like they want their makeup done and their hair done and all this shit done before they go on camera, which is understandable. But at the same time, do you understand that there's a female on the other end that's sitting in her pajamas, no makeup on, no hair done, and and that's your ideal client as well? That like attracts like. So it's almost, it's it's kind of up to you, bro. Like however you want to portray yourself, that's the client you're going to attract. But I'm just convinced that every client is is a normal ass person. So it's 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 I just don't want you to slow yourself down. That's all. All that stuff just slows slows you down. Okay, in the right. beginning. I have to like come up with like uh, you know, like ease myself on like my requirements, but like still do something to like make me feel comfortable with the videos because I gotta live with them, you know. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. But, but yeah, man, I mean you gotta create this content so yeah, I'm gonna get Dude, started. Once you start getting it, the ball rolling, bro, I'm telling you, you'll start getting more comfortable, you'll start getting more better, start closing more deals, and now you'll have the time and the money to even delegate any of this little random shit. But okay. right now, dude, we need to just be pumping out videos, bro, like they're going out of style. And, and the best way is cell phone, uncut, unedited, just let's just put it up. You know? Uh, that, that's what you, 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 that's the kind of mindset you want in the very beginning, at least the, the first, at least the first couple months where you're just pumping out videos, dude. And, and that's the key. It's content. That's why every single person that I speak to, bro, the number one, everybody wants to know the technicals of the Facebook ad. Everybody wants to know the exact objective. Everybody wants to know how do we put these landing pages together? But I'm telling you from speaking to thousands of people on this exact topic, bro, I'm telling you, I'm not exaggerating. Since Just since 2016 alone, I've literally have spoken to thousands, not hundreds. I've literally spoken to thousands on this exact topic. And none of, the, none of that stuff matters. Facebook ads, landing pages, technical shit, none of that stuff matters. The number one problem that everyone has is producing content. 
because everyone's a perfectionist. And I'm telling you, dude, that that's the number one killer on social media is content creation. Everybody wants to be perfect. And and that's why that, that that's why like I learned a lot from Gary Vee and, and he's he's the opposite. He's like, dude, just no, you that that's gonna kill you. That perfectionist shit is gonna kill you. What does he even sell at this point? Like advice, like it's just the viewership, right? Of the YouTube or he's not doesn't sell shit. I mean, wine once in a while, but yeah, yeah. I guess, I guess I mean he had his obviously he has his agency, but it's really he just he, he, stuff, yeah. It, yeah, it's just he he's just overall branding. That's what he he doesn't even yeah, he doesn't believe taking you, you know, clicking having you click on something or go through a funnel. He is just getting his face and that that's to my point. He approaches all of this with just content. So he's not his worried product, about the back end. The is content the is his face. Right. It's like, his brand. Like he's a speaker, he's an author, whatever, mm -hmm. right? So like mm -hmm. people hire him. Like when they look at me, they're like, oh, let's hire a guy to speak. Like, let's work with him. But I I, I guess it works the same way. It's all content, bro. All he's doing is killing everybody with content. That's it. That's it. And 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 look at all of his content, man. Like and now now he has edited shit because he has a team, but even his edited stuff is just normal content, either from a normal camera in his office or his cell phone. It's content. That's that's the number one thing, bro. It's content. Like this is a slightly edited video. I mean, like here, so you can see I'm just. Let's see, like a little text or whatever. I mean, like not that I need this, but mm -hmm. and it's like the basic music and like little photos of it. But I mean, I'm telling you, that was a lot of work. Yeah, I'm telling you, bro. You don't need none of that shit. I'm telling you, right. you don't need none of that. You don't need none of that. Gotcha. All right, man. Let me uh, get the videos done. Let's chat ASAP and let's get that ad running, man. Perfect. Perfect. Yeah. Um, just hit that calendar link again. What else can we be doing for like buyer or seller's ads or just the content right now? Like it's not going to return too much business. Do you think? It, well, it's the content. It's just, it's just the content. We need to, we need to put out more either. We're going to put out images and that's the thing. If, if, if video is, is, is time consuming, let's just start putting out some images. Do you have any like cool headshots? Like let's start running image ads. We can do that too, dude. Headshots of me. Yeah. You. Like what a lot of people do is they'll run image ads on properties and shit like that. This is all about you. Like if you had like, watch, go back to your video, like go back. Yeah. Go scroll down real quick. Like that video, the video that's running of you with your leg crossed and you're, you're looking at that book that like an image, if that, if we had that image or any images like that, that could be great. And in mm -hmm. the text, we're giving out a buyer guide in the text. We're giving out a seller guide and we're targeting your area. Hmm. So if anything, have your chick take a bunch of pictures like that, and those could be ads too, man. Which would obviously save you a lot of time and stress having to create video. Got it. And again, the the what what would make it so appealing is the fact that we're giving away something for free. And gotcha. and we're optimizing for that. So as we go and run the ad, we're running conversions, we're optimizing for downloads, for lead capture. And that's where the Karcher pages are so important because now we, we set up the thank you page as a custom conversion and we run conversion ads to get people to download our seller guide. And I'll be putting all my emails like into that system. So it does all the emailing and everything. Yeah. Yeah, for sure. You can always download that list and put it into any other CRM. So if you have a compass one, like I would maybe once a month, download that list, upload it to compass. So now you have it backed up just in case someday you don't need Karcher or whatever. You know, you can always, gotcha. you know, have a backup of that, of that list yeah, as well. I have, it, I have them all stored in, in here. Yeah. yeah, for sure. You can for sure put them, put them here. But as far as the lead capture, they'd go, they'd go into the Karcher account and then you can obviously, you know, transfer from there. And uh, the emails that are going to be going out to them. So like I have like a Compass newsletter I can do from that mm -hmm. CRM, but mm -hmm. like what else? Like other videos essentially kind of like you were sending me like those five steps or it could be know. yeah it could it, what i would do is i would yeah i would i would base it on whatever the hell they're opted into so that uh -huh. email sequence and you don't have to set up that many but again you don't want to set up too few either like i would set up if i was downloading a buyer guide i would a good amount of emails that, that can follow is let's say 10 10 emails so 10 emails on a buyer guide 10 emails on a seller guide um 
maybe five emails on a listing. So you, you opt in, you're interested in my listing now over the next, well, it's going to be five emails, but it's going to be every other day. So for the next 10 days, you're going to get five emails. So that's, that's the automation side of it all. After the automation is done, like for example, with you, you download my book. I had five emails that went out. Now, if I want to, if I want to send you another email, I can for sure physically do that myself because all I had was five in there. So for seller guide, I'd make maybe write, write 10 buyer guide, maybe write 10 of them, maybe for your listing, write five of them. And that's all a one-time thing. But what makes the seller guide and the buyer guide so, so much easier is the fact that each email is going to be based on that. So just like in my book, I broke down, I broke, I broke down the five steps in the book in five emails. Gotcha. That's what I did. So you would look at your buyer guide, look at your seller guide and be like, okay, shit, these different chapters, I'm going to break these up into 10 emails. And yeah, that's time consuming upfront, but to tell you the truth, it doesn't take that much time, maybe a couple hours on a Sunday afternoon when you're not busy and it's a one-time thing. Now I have that automation ready to go and ready to just feed the damn funnel. Right. No, I, guess, so, yeah. I mean, so, you know, we can, we can go down this rabbit hole for a long time. Uh, let me just go out, I guess, create these yes, videos bro. step by step. Um, do it, yeah. do it vertical, man. Do it vertical. So we don't have to do it twice. Do it vertical. We'll run it both on both platforms. Okay. Cool, man. Bro. All right, bro. Thank you so much. All right, brother. Have a good one. All right. Bye. Bye.